y'all so i'm back i know it's been a little minute <laughs> life with my ass but i'm back um this is about to be a makeup tutorial i'm actually about to go to work so i'm about to show y'all my updated makeup tutorial um and yeah so actually my hair is red so i'm gonna start with my red eyebrow pencil but um i hope everything been good with y'all um, as y'all can see, my face broke out from the last video I did, but we getting her together. She's clearing up again, so yeah. But we about to get into this. Um, everything else is going to be a voiceover, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl channel, y'all, because I'm back, I'm back like crack in the whole system. Ugh. But we back, so let's get right on into it, okay? Okay? Okay, y'all, so I'm taking my Becca primer and I'm just gonna rip it all over my face. And when I do my makeup, I put my primer on, then I set it with powder on top of it just to make sure you last an extra, extra, extra long time. Like, keep sweat, you know how you make it last forever? Yeah, so we're gonna make this makeup last forever in the day. But we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna wear it that long. Like, yeah. So you just want to rip it all over your face and all that stuff. And then I had did the powder stuff out of the but it's still up, but I had that <laughs> off the camera. <laughs> and I did my eyebrows off the camera too. And I could do a detailed tutorial on those. Yeah, I need to do one. But now I'm just taking my Laura Mercier powder and I'm just setting it concealer that I did on my eyes and I slit my eyebrows. And we just wanted the Juvia's Place palette. And this look that we're going for today is a neutral look. And this is just a red eyeshadow. And I'm just doing it as my base color because I like having red as my base. I, I really love doing red as my base color on my eyeshadow because it just looks good. And I think red just looks so good. And y'all, honestly, this pencil, like, every time I do it, I just feel like it's red, but it really looks purple. Like, it, it, gives, it has a little tint of purple to it. So we're just gonna keep on putting that eyeshadow in. We're just gonna keep going, and keep going until I get it to the color, the, the 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 depth that I would like for it to be. <laughs> okay. And yeah, we just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep blending. We're just gonna keep blending. We're gonna go with this brown. And y'all, this look consists of four colors. We did red, we did dark brown, then we did like an even darker brown after we did this dark brown. Um just to marry those colors together. Um yeah, I really want to marry myself. I was thinking about it. You know, it's legal in the state of Texas. <laughs> I was just trying to invite shit. So, yeah. We're just going to keep blending. Stay tuned for the marriage, okay? I'm going to just marry myself, y'all. So, just stay tuned for it. And then we're going to switch over for the darker color. We're going to go to the matte book by Super Scent. Y'all, I love this color. Hence why, it, it, y'all, certain colors, you can tell I love them because they almost gone. So we just did that to deepen, to deepen, I said deepen, <laughs> to deepen it, the color that's on you, <laughs> to deepen the, like my eyes, the, the look, y'all, I don't know why I'm having a rainbow right now, but and you just want to keep checking it to see if they match it and just to make sure that you put everything. Then I went in with my concealer, it's just my LA Girl concealer. And I just put that on my eyelid because it's a neutral. It's not necessarily a cut crease. It's just a neutral, okay? A cut crease, you would actually see me taking a flat concealer brush and, you know, cutting it. But then I just go back into that Juvia's palette with that white color and I just put that all over my lid. And I, at first, I just slap it on there just to get it on there. Then I'm going to blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, 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 blend. And you just want to keep blending until you can't blend no more. Amen. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you just gonna keep blending. And then, yeah, I did my eyeliner off camera too. I was struggling with my eyeliner today. And the two foundations that I use, I use the NARS Sheer Glow mm -hmm. in the color New Caledonia. And then I go in with my Tarte. Um, I can't remember the actual name of this one. It's the Tarte foundation, but it's like the one that's like oil free and all of this stuff. It's like a good ass foundation. It's like oil free and it's just a whole bunch of stuff that's good in it. And I just mix those two together and I'm just blending it out with this brush. And that color is in a uh, dang, what's that color? It's gonna be in the description box, y'all. It's gonna be in the description box. 
But I was just checking to make sure everything was blended in. And I'm just keep on blending so I can't blend no more. And I don't know if I mentioned this in my previous videos, but this is not a hickey on the front of my neck. It is a tattoo. It is a tattoo. I have four tattoos on my neck. I have a heart. I have three other tattoos. That's on one on the other side, love piece. I got a heart in the back, and then the one that's on the front of my neck says I shave. But um, it wasn't done by the same tattoo artist that did my other ones. That's why it looks different and it looks so bold and strong and stuff like that. It, it really is dark, but it was done by different tattoo artists. Like, to see it so good. Um, yeah. Anywho, we're going in with our tart shape and <laughs> concealer. they just going to put that out of place. I want to highlight on my face. Get out my face. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> and we just going to blend it out, y'all. I love this concealer, like... It looks so good. Like, do you see how good that bleeds? It bleeds in like butter. Y'all know that dude on TikTok is making them potatoes. They're butter. They're butter. They just made me think about it. It just bleeds in so good. I don't use any other concealer other than, like, to actually highlight my face other than, like, my LA girl to do my eyebrows. But I only use Tarte Shape Tape to do the rest of my face because of how good it looks. And this is in the color tan sand. I know everybody uses color, and I don't know why this one color looks so good on all of us. Like, as chocolate as I am, this tan sand looks so good on me. And I'm like, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm a three good toes. I did my SHIT. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You see how good that looks? And look at my super duper baby hair. Just super duper, super duper. Yeah, look at that. That just looks so good. But yeah, we just gonna keep blending. And you wanna take that concealer, you wanna go up the size of your nose just a little bit. Uh, not too much because I don't really like having like a real, real, real snatch nose because my nose is really, really big. So I don't really like snatching my nose too much because I don't like when you snatch your nose too much and you actually have a big nose. So yeah, and we just gonna set that with that, that Laura Mercier and that Sasha Buttercup with our beauty blender. And we just gonna set it everywhere. Okay, just gonna press it in, press it in, press it in. And I learned this trick from uh, taking a class from Dora by, Morgan. Dora by Morgan. It's like you want to pinch your beauty blender when you actually, you know, try to get in them creases, <laughs> crevices, and cracks. Then I always do my nose contour lashes because I want to make sure it's set extra, extra, extra low. But when you do your nose contour, I didn't do it in this video. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about in another video. But you want to actually pinch it. And you want to make sure that you get that powder as small as possible like as small as possible okay and y'all this is funny to me because you literally see the powder fly everywhere like the powder is just flying everywhere y'all for no reason like that is hilarious you're gonna see it's gonna do that too when i start uh my actual highlight highlight you're gonna see it doing it on there but yeah we just want to swipe that off and i actually had my micro smooth powder by sephora on this brush and i was just using it to brush it off and y'all, this is my favorite color in this palette, y'all. I had to literally order another palette because I that color is down there gone in this palette. Y'all, I love that color. It's hot cocoa, okay? And you just see me going in, I'm going to keep blending that contour out just to make it look extra, extra chocolatey. Put that color back in my skin. And then we're going to go with this brush and we're going to contour my nose. And we're just going to snatch it just a little bit. Not too much, just, just a little pinch, pinch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yeah, so then you see how I keep looking at it. You just want to keep looking from different angles and stuff like that. And I usually always take a, a, the same brush that I took that powder off with. I put a little bit of my scoop powder on my brush. And yeah, I just go over my nose to blend it out some Look at that, look at that gold dust. Y'all, I had this gold dust for about five years, if not longer. I've been living in Houston for three years. So yeah, it, it gotta be five or six years. And y'all, this just, it, it lasts a very, very long time. Like, I'm either using the Anglola, my super, or I'm using the Sweet Tea that's in that wash and blush palette. And yeah, it just looks so good, y'all. So good, so good. And I love highlighting like, my cube as well. I feel like it give me a little extra razzle dazzle because I have big loops. And it's just like, dang, like, I just love highlighting like, my cube as well. It just looks so good. So, y'all, what you want to do to really make your highlights stand out is you want to set your face first 
and then you want to go in with the highlighter because sometimes if you go in with the highlighter before you set your face it can make you look kind of like blocky and like stuck in one area and we don't want that so then i go in with my maybelline it's like the blackest black the pot gel liner and i just go with my uh i just go in my inner eye with this i typically used to like not always do like bottom liner because i felt like it made my eyes look even smaller than what they are but now I've grown to love it. It's either, I, I don't really use white like that. I know a lot of people use white to open their eyes up, but I don't feel like their white don't always look good with the look that you do. But black will never fail you. But this is my lip pencil. I just get this from Family Dollar. It's just the, like the darkest brown. It's like a brownish black lip pencil. And it's like LA Colors brand. And I just put that all over my lips because I have really big lips. So y'all, I love lip liner and lipstick. Like it just completes the look. Like just lip gloss ain't gonna do it. It's, it's not going to ever just do the job for me. You need to do some. You need to put a little color on your lips, a little razzle dazzle. It's going to bring the whole look together. It's going to marry you. You know, like how I said, I'm going to marry myself. It's going to marry the look, okay? When you do your lips, it's going to marry the look, okay? And y'all, everything is literally going to be in the description box. So don't be yelling at the video or nothing like that. But this is the finished product. I told y'all my hair was red. Doesn't it look so good? Don't I just look so cute? Looking just like my mama. Yeah, cute. cute. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. Um, I told y'all my hair was red, so that's why I did the red eyebrows. Um, the hair, let's get into it. Let's get into it. That bad. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Your girl is back with the videos. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, y'all. It's up. It's up, okay? Um, I hope y'all like this look. And if usual, as usual, the details will be in the description of all the products that I used. If you got any questions, you can snap me, Instagram me, DM me. I don't know about Facebook. For sure. But yeah, so this is the finished look. I hope y'all like it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Nigga Short is out.